Thinking of throwing a dinner party but worried with your friends the wine bill may set you back too far? Well, that's where a nice, affordable wine comes in for the tail end when the really good stuff is all gone. Here to tell us about a budget Bordeaux, no less, is WSJ Charles Passy with the weekend sip. Hi, Charles. Good pleasure pleasure as always. I didn't think that a Bordeaux could come in a cheaper package. I mean, yeah, you don't think of Bordeaux and budget in the same no. sense or whatever, but this is indeed uh, just that. So, I mean, and we have Bordeaux that can go into the three and four digit yeah, price tags. Yeah, sure. This is a Bordeaux for 12 bucks. And whose brilliant idea was this? Uh, it was a, a guy who comes from a European winemaking uh, uh, importer and family uh, that goes back centuries, and um, he sort of sensed that the timing was right for a different approach Is to that Bordeaux. because the high-end Bordeaux market is softening? He, you know, I mean, Bordeaux has been really challenged. We live in a different world. You know, a decade ago, Bordeaux was it. I mean, yeah. it was hot. Uh, it was collectible and all that. Uh, now we're, we're shifting our attention much more to new world wines. The Chinese who were big buyers of Bordeaux have had financial challenges. So the Bordeaux market has really softened. And he said, maybe it's time to approach Bordeaux in a very different way, a much more user-friendly way. Look look at the name. It's not actually yeah, spelled no, Bordeaux. It's, oh, you're right. <laughs> it's Bordeaux. And how much will these bottles set you back? You know, these, these are only $12 a wow. piece or whatever. Um, there's a lot of clever packaging and marketing mm -hmm. here. I mean, look, the, the Sauvignon Blanc is called Le Crisp White. The uh, <laughs> the Cabernet Sauvignon is called Le Deep Red. I mean, I mean, but he has a sense of humor he has about a, it, right? A very big sense of humor about this. <laughs> so what is so what? is the quality of these wines. Well, you know, that's where we kind of get right? into some interesting yeah. things. I mean, I think one of the big things is that they are not aged in oak. And mm. let's taste and you'll okay. see a little bit. Okay. Okay, yeah, so that's this is for this is for my guests who aren't leaving at 2 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, it's, it's, look, it's, you know. it, it is what it is. It's, it's, it's not a wine with tremendous depth or right. character, but it's not pretending to be. It's no. a fairly, it's a table friendly wine. No, and I mean, it's not terrible. Don't get no, me wrong. No, 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 it's I mean, not, it's, no. I mean, no. I, we're drinking the Cabernet. I think yeah. it has some nice sort of jam-like hints mm -hmm. of fruit, and and you know, and it's it's very smooth, yeah. very approachable. But is it like a great Bordeaux? Absolutely not. I would say they're not pretending it. I mean, if you want to be picky, I might say that between ten to fifteen dollars, there are some very good wines you can have. And right. I don't know if this is in that level, particularly wines from say South America or, or for some lesser priced regions. But if but you it, want. And it will get a lot of attention, right? right because right. it is a Bordeaux. Right. But if you want to say, I'm serving a Bordeaux for $12, you really can't go wrong hey, in that way. you cannot so. go wrong. I think I may just have to serve that at my <laughs> next dinner right. party. Charles Passy. Cheers. Thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs>